Hey, what's going on guys? Josiah Blizzard here. I have a really quick tutorial for you guys today. I was going through some wedding photos and I realized that my bride, Lauren, wasn't looking directly at me. Um, we can see in this photo here that she's actually looking to her right or to my left. Uh, and instead of going through, and maybe I don't have another photo of her looking right at me, sometimes I take these pretty quickly, uh, and she might have not just been looking at me. So I might not have another photo of her looking at me. So instead of going and digging for that, I'm going to Photoshop her eyes. And I just wanted to teach you how to do that really, really quickly. And we can get something that looks like this. Now, to be able to do this, you need to have another photo of whatever person looking at you, okay? So I'm actually gonna take this photo of Lauren looking at me. And we're gonna take both of those into Photoshop. Right now we're in Lightroom. So let me select, let me select the photo I want to fix and the photo that is gonna help me fix by holding control down on my keyboard and clicking on both photos. We're gonna right click and go to edit in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. It is so simple guys. I figured I'd just share this with you because this is actually something I do on a pretty regular basis. Uh, and uh, we'll just show you, we'll just show you how it works. It doesn't take more than five minutes. All right, so we're in, we're in Adobe Photoshop. First things you want to do is go to the photo where the person is looking at you, okay? I'm going to zoom in by hitting Z and then just dragging a little box around her head. All right, now over here, I'm actually going to go and select my lasso tool. You can also hit L on your keyboard. And what we're going to do is we're just going to draw a quick little mask around her eyes, her eyebrows, and then again, all the way back down. That's it. Okay, so now you have the selection. Now you want to hit Command or Control J on your keyboard, and what that does is it duplicates only that layer. Um, it duplicates that layer, and you can see it's feathered already a little bit. If you wanted to turn feathering off on that selection, you could have done that up here in the top left corner. I'm going to keep the feathering on, and then select this layer on the right-hand side. Make sure it's selected. Hit Command or Control C to copy, and then click on your other photo that you want to fix, and hit Command V. There you go. And if for some reason that doesn't copy over, you can always you can always drag this layer away so you can see both of them. And you can simply drag this layer into your new project. Two ways of doing it, both work. Whatever works for you. All right. Uh, so you can see you can really kind of uh, you can really kind of mess with somebody if you wanted to give them two separate eyeballs. You can be kind of weird and goofy with this, but what we're going to do now is we're just going to try and match as best as we can. Okay. You can see obviously that the photo we took the eyes from is rotated a little bit. So we want to, we want to rotate her eyes. All right. So hit command T or control T on your keyboard and you can start rotating if you need to, if you need to scale the eyes up, you can also scale them up. What might be easier to figure this out is uh, if you lower your opacity a little bit, you can try and match the uh, eyeballs or the, uh, the fine lines, the pupils maybe, and you can actually see that this eye doesn't match up 100%. So we could potentially scale this up a little bit and try and match. And it might, it might be a, the shifting might, might take a little bit to figure out, but this is still probably better than just giving them the photo. Okay, so actually that looks like it matches pretty good. So let's leave that there. Let's bring our opacity all the way back up and see how that looks. Let's toggle that on and off by hitting this uh, this eyeball on the right hand side. Uh, you can see that it actually blends into her hair here. So we're gonna fix this and you can see her eyebrow over here on the right is, uh, is showing through underneath uh, our, our eyeball fix layer, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit E on the keyboard and that brings up your eraser tool uh, and actually before you do this select your layer and hit command J that'll duplicate it turn off the bottom layer and that just duplicates it in case we screw something up all right that way we have a backup we're gonna go in here and we're actually gonna erase some of the new eyeball layer away so I want to see what this would look like if we can blend her eyebrow in a little bit better that looks pretty good let's get rid of this entire eyebrow over here Actually, I want to bring her hair back in a little bit, so we're going to erase some of that there as well. Um, I'm interested in this here, and it, this is really just personal preference. I don't like what I did there, so I'm going to undo that real quick, and we're going to just do this side of the face. Uh, let's see how that looks. You can see actually on the left here that her eyebrow extends a little bit too far. 
And that looks pretty good, right guys? I think that looks pretty good. And then after that, all you have to do, you know, let's zoom out real quick. That looks pretty good, I think. You'd never know. She's never going to know unless she watches this video. And if she is, hi, Lauren. Uh, and then after that, just hit Command S to save it. And what it should do is it should drop it right back into Lightroom. At least hopefully it does. Do, do, do. There it is. Awesome. So it appeared right back in uh, Lightroom. That's all you got to do. You have a quick and easy fix on how to uh, replace some eyes in Lightroom and in Photoshop. Super quick, super easy. I do this all of the time, especially when I don't have a photo where somebody has their eyes open. Sometimes there's always someone blinking. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you don't already. I would love your support. And maybe share this with a friend uh, who might find this content valuable. And I will catch you guys in the next video.